first break was ready to come to England and you know it's 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 absolutely extraordinary that we're in Camden Town because that's where I lived when we came up. That's where the whole band lived. And that's where we used to play. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you know, England has always had a special thing for us because our first hit song, you know, that we found out right here. It broke right here in London. another hit record with Cool Meditation and then when we signed to CBS we had another hit record called Dancing on the Floor so England has been a real real great place for us and stuff and um you signed to Ireland with Blackwell in 75 the debut album was the following year in December of that year 76 is when Marley was shot right. Road, Road. Then there was the Smile Jamaica concert right. in December that year. You actually played bass for the way this for part of that. Yeah, so for two tunes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I get, I get big up for it more than I should. Yeah. Yeah. But actually what happened was that I I knew one or two songs and stuff, but Tyrone came and Tyrone knew all the songs on bass. So when he mm -hmm. arrived I just took off the bass and gave him mm -hmm. and I took up a guitar and um I've never really forgotten that. It, I was I was numb, to be quite honest. I had no clue what, what, where I was or what I was doing. But yeah. I mean, the whole image of Bob coming and just the way he was just absolutely gigantic yes. that that Sunday. I mean, you know, I, I really can't forget. I mean, you know, <laughs> after that he went and he stayed in London, and. Um, you know, this is a time when we came back to London to record 96 Degrees in the Shade. Yeah. And we were at Basing Street, mm -hmm. you know, and um, we shared studio time. We would go in from 10 to 6, Bob would come in from 7 to whenever. Mm -hmm. Or we would come in at 7 to whenever, Bob would come in from 10 to 6. We had alternating days and this and that and the other. And that's how I became really close to Bob because yeah. I would try to get there early. You know, so I could get in and, you know, be with him and make our relationship grow more. Because we knew each other a long time, but not, you know, but I wanted to be more close to Uncle, you know. Yeah, yeah. Some of the times, as you know, when you're doing these albums and stuff, sometimes Bob never even came because what was happening was mixing or they were doing overdubs or something. It wasn't necessary for him to come, but he would always show up if it was even for an hour because he wanted to hear what was happening. You know, this, these were the days when you could just say, Hey Bob, I'm sending you something on the phone. Listen right. to it. We just did an yeah. overdub. Yeah. Mm. What do you think of this? Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. had to physically yeah. come down to Amazing yeah. Street and yeah. hear what was going on. Yeah. So, I mean, that in and of itself lent to more camaraderie between us. Really, that was the genesis of you. Yeah. An international touring band. Exactly. I, yeah. I really felt, yeah. I, and everybody in Third World, felt that way because the thing was that there was no one icon in the band the band was iconic there was cat ibu there was rugs there was willie there was carrot mm -hmm. there was basie you know what i mean so everybody had a, had a personality everybody had a, a piece of the pie so to speak and um, we went to play in the west end in london gillies was the club and and chris blackwell saw us there and <coughs> and he told us to come and meet him at Island the following Tuesday, this was a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. and the Tuesday we went there and that started a relationship, yeah. a friendship and mm -hmm. you know, just four weeks later we signed a contract. Yeah. You know, so And then of course you went to support to Bob yeah. on the European tour. Yes. And you opened for him at the Lyceum. Which yeah. Was a Fantastic. Epic, and Birmingham epic too epic. and Manchester too. Yes. Yeah man. That was in fact to be honest with you the Manchester, Birmingham, London shows were really what we did. But when to Europe, he had somebody else open for him. I think it was Aswad. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but we did the, the UK side of things, which was a big thing in those days, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, the two dates at the Lyceum alone has lived with us and has propelled us. I mean, like, 
most people that want to do articles, want to do interviews, they want to know about that gig. Always refer to that gig. All they want, they want to know about that gig always. And you have the epic live album with No Woman to Cry oh, and, 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 and Roadblock and all yeah. those tunes, you know. Yeah. So we, we cherish that as one of our moments for sure. going home that Christmas because after we did the last year we went and recorded the Green Album. You know we were, we didn't have the album then but we did have Sata yes. and we had a couple of the tunes that we did yeah. on the album. So when we went in, in Christmas and we did that, you know and I remember coming home that Christmas and boy when I arrived back all my friends just saw me different. You know, because I'd heard I'm wow. in England now, we have an yeah. album coming out yeah. on Island Records and yeah. Third World's Big Star now and this and that, you know, so, I mean, it, it was hard for me to adjust. Of course, yeah. But it was something very, very, I didn't take it for granted, you know what I'm saying? It was special. Yeah. <laughs> 